Zero Mellow's Paradox presents a fascinating conundrum that lies at the heart of our understanding of time, entropy, and the dynamics of physical systems. On one hand, Poincaré's recurrence theorem tells us that in a finite, isolated system, if we wait long enough, the system will eventually return to a state that is arbitrarily close to its initial configuration. This idea is almost like a cosmic reset button. A system, no matter how chaotic, will, given enough time, replay its earlier state. But how can this be reconciled with the second law of thermodynamics, which dictates that entropy or disorder must increase over time, creating a clear arrow of time that moves in one direction? One way to look at this paradox is to consider a simple example, a sealed box filled with gas molecules. According to statistical mechanics, these molecules move randomly, and over time, their collisions lead to an overall increase in entropy. The second law of thermodynamics assures us that the system will trend toward a state of maximum disorder. Yet, Poincaré's recurrence theorem implies that if you were to observe this system for an astronomically long period, the molecules would eventually arrange themselves back into a configuration nearly identical to the original more ordered state. This seems to contradict the undirectional flow of time that increasing entropy suggests. How can a system revert to a less disordered state when nature is always pushing towards greater disorder? The resolution to this conflict lies in understanding the timescales and the probabilistic nature of these processes. Poincaré's recurrence times are typically unimaginably long, far exceeding the current age of the universe for most practical systems. So while the theorem is mathematically sound, the recurrence is so rare that the observable one-way progression of time as governed by entropy remains effectively unchallenged in our everyday experience. In this sense, the recurrence theorem exists more as a theoretical curiosity than as a practical challenge to the second law of thermodynamics. Another intriguing point is the concept of ergodicity, which implies that over long periods, a system will explore all possible states consistent with its energy. This means that while a system might briefly revisit a state similar to its initial condition, the overwhelming majority of its evolution will still exhibit increasing entropy. It's as if the system occasionally takes a nostalgic detour back to its beginnings, but then quickly resumes its march towards disorder. Zermelo's paradox thus invites us to ask, is time truly reversible if the laws of physics allow for recurrence, or does the arrow of time, as dictated by entropy, prevail in shaping our macroscopic reality? The answer, it appears, is that while the microscopic laws of physics are time-symmetric, the macroscopic world we observe is dominated by statistical behavior where increasing entropy creates the familiar one-way flow of time. This duality not only deepens our understanding of physical laws, but also highlights the delicate interplay between order and chaos, determinism and probability, a dance that continues to captivate scientists and philosophers alike. Zermelo's paradox arises from a contradiction between classical mechanics and thermodynamics questioning how systems governed by deterministic laws can exhibit irreversible behavior over time. It challenges the idea of ever-increasing entropy by invoking Poincaré's recurrence theorem, which predicts that any isolated system will eventually return arbitrarily close to its initial state, thereby conflicting with the observed one-way flow of time in which entropy increases. For example, imagine a perfectly sealed box containing gas molecules. Theoretically, given enough time, the molecules will spontaneously reassemble into a configuration very similar to the one they had at the start. It is like shuffling a deck of cards, and after an astronomical number of shuffles, the deck miraculously returns to its original order, even though in everyday experience the order seems only to become more random. Poincaré's recurrence theorem states that in any finite isolated dynamical system, the system will eventually return arbitrarily close to its initial state due to energy conservation and the finite volume of phase space. This theorem implies that every possible configuration of a system will be revisited if given enough time, though the recurrence period is typically astronomically long. For instance, consider a frictionless pendulum in an isolated system. Over an incredibly long period, its motion will almost exactly repeat its initial trajectory, demonstrating recurrence. <laughs> it is like watching a movie on an endless loop where, given enough time, the exact same scene is replayed, even though the intervals between repetitions 
may be unimaginably long. Entropy, a measure of disorder within a system, is central to the second law of thermodynamics, which states that in an isolated system, entropy tends to increase, leading to irreversible processes. This increase in entropy gives rise to the arrow of time, marking a direction from past to future, even though the microscopic laws of physics are reversible. The vast number of disordered states makes the reverse process extremely unlikely. For example, when ice melts into water, the system's entropy increases as the orderly structure of ice becomes the more disordered arrangement of liquid water. It is like watching a neat stack of papers gradually become a messy pile. While it is theoretically possible to restack them, the natural tendency is toward disorder. The conflict between recurrence and increasing entropy emerges because Poincaré's recurrence theorem implies that an isolated system will eventually return to a state near its initial configuration, suggesting a decrease in entropy, which seems to contradict the second law of thermodynamics. On a microscopic scale, reversible laws allow for recurrence, yet the macroscopic behavior is dominated by the overwhelming probability of disordered states, making the reverse process practically impossible. For example, a gas in a container may theoretically return to its original ordered state after an incomprehensibly long time, yet in practice it remains in a high entropy state without any visible reversal. It is like expecting a shuffled deck of cards to return to its original order by chance. While mathematically possible, the probability is so low that in everyday experience, the deck remains in random order indefinitely. Time's arrow refers to the directional flow of time from past to future, as evidenced by the natural increase of entropy in isolated systems. This concept, while counterintuitive to the time-symmetric nature of fundamental physics, is supported by everyday irreversible processes such as cooling and diffusion, which provide a framework for understanding cause and effect. For instance, a hot cup of coffee cools down over time, demonstrating the irreversible flow of time and the natural tendency for systems to move toward equilibrium and higher entropy. It is like a melting ice cube that only transitions from a solid to a liquid state, never spontaneously reforming into ice without external intervention, clearly indicating a one-way process. Statistical mechanics bridges the gap between the reversible microscopic laws of physics and the irreversible macroscopic phenomena by showing that while individual particle interactions are reversible, the collective behavior of a vast number of particles overwhelmingly trends toward disorder due to the statistical problem probability of numerous microstates. This probabilistic interpretation explains why macroscopic processes appear irreversible despite underlying time-symmetric dynamics. For example, in a stirred cup of coffee, sugar dissolves uniformly and although the molecules could theoretically regroup into a crystalline structure, the probability is so minuscule that the solution remains homogeneous indefinitely. It is like tossing a large number of coins. Although it is possible to get all heads by chance, the overwhelming likelihood is that the results will be roughly even, representing a natural progression toward a balanced outcome. Zermelo's paradox carries profound philosophical implications by challenging determinism and our understanding of time, forcing a re-examination of how irreversible macroscopic phenomena can emerge from reversible microscopic laws. This paradox raises debates about the true nature of time, whether it is cyclical or linearly progressive, and about free will and the fundamental structure of the universe, suggesting that our intuitive understanding of time's arrow might be an emergent property rather than a fundamental aspect of reality. For instance, the paradox prompts debates in theoretical physics and philosophy about whether time is truly linear or if the universe could eventually cycle back to an earlier state. It is like pondering whether a clock that occasionally resets itself really tells time in a linear fashion, or if its repeated cycles challenge our conventional notions of beginnings and endings. Experimental observations in systems such as colloids and confined gases have provided insights into the behavior of entropy and recurrence phenomena, even though direct observation of full Poincaré recurrence in macroscopic systems remains impractical due to the exceedingly long time scales involved. Laboratory experiments can simulate near recurrence in small controlled systems, which confirms the reversibility at a microscopic level, but also underscores that macroscopic irreversibility dominates in real-world scenarios. 
For example, in a controlled experiment, scientists have observed near-recurrence behavior in a confined system of particles, yet such behavior is not apparent in natural large-scale systems because of the vast number of interacting particles. It is like testing a miniature model of a roller coaster in a lab, where the track can be reset nearly to its original configuration, but scaling up to a full-size coaster involves complexities that prevent such perfect repetition. Future research aims to further elucidate the interplay between microscopic reversibility and macroscopic irreversibility by employing advances in computational power and experimental techniques, potentially integrating quantum mechanics with statistical mechanics, to offer deeper insights into time's arrow. New theoretical frameworks and improved simulation models may eventually resolve the apparent conflict between Poincaré recurrence and the second law of thermodynamics by providing a more nuanced understanding of probability and time at different scales. For instance, a multidisciplinary team is developing advanced simulation models that combine quantum effects with statistical mechanics to better understand how and when a system might exhibit near recurrence without violating the second law. It is like developing a new recipe that combines traditional cooking techniques with modern technology to create a dish that honors classic flavors while introducing innovative twists, ultimately harmonizing seemingly opposing culinary traditions.